Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and today I have a hangover. So, to be completely frank, I have not been in a very festive mood so far this December, but I will try to change that in this video. I've been wanting to do some DIYs for decor for a while. I don't really like Christmas decor as an overall concept, but there are a few things that I actually think is really cool. And it's things, coincidentally, that you can make yourself. And one of the things I have been tagged in so many times on Instagram, it's actually ridiculous how many of you guys have tagged me or sent me this DIY. And honestly, this looks really, really cool. So of course we're going to give that a go. And then I have another thing that I really want to do today as well. However, before we get started, this video is sponsored. Da -da 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 this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different courses led by industry professionals and people that actually walk the walk. And I don't know about you guys, but I always have half-finished projects lying around my house, constantly. I have so many ideas for creative projects that I want to finish, but just absolutely no follow-through whatsoever. However, to sort of combat that, I have found this amazing course on Skillshare. You can find learning paths that sort of lead you to master a specific skill. It's sort of a tailored program. The learning path that spoke to me personally on a deep, deep personal level, was beat procrastination. Learn strategies to kickstart any project. And that sounds like something we need. In this learning path, there is a specific course that I think is absolutely brilliant and just incredibly inspiring and motivating. Definitely recommending you to check this out. It's the course Creative Productivity. Build a brief to boost your passion project. I'm using a lot of the tools Lauren is talking about in that course, so definitely check it out. Also, the first 500 people to use the link in my description will get a three-month trial of Skillshare. And other than that, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into the first project. So the first project we'll be taking on will be this tomato paste tube Christmas ornament DIY, which I've been tagged in so many times. And it seems really easy, so I feel like that's famous last words, but we're gonna try and do it anyway. And it requires a pair of scissors and a tube of tomato paste. I already had this in my fridge. I think there is maybe a little bit left, so we'll squeeze that out and use it for lunch. And uh, then we'll just Cut it open, I guess, and see what's happening. Okay, let's go. Welcome to my sink. I could have cleaned up more, I didn't. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. Now, I am going to just rewatch the video as well, but I think I can also deduct the basic principles. So, should we cut it like this? I don't actually know what she did. I'm just gonna rewatch the video, one second. Okay, so it seems like she's just cutting up the top and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I think I got it. The source material has been secured. Oh no, I forgot to take the last bits out. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, okay, it goes in pasta. Now, I don't think mine is as pretty on the inside. I think this is, at best, I think it's silver instead of gold. The gold is really pretty, but I don't think that's what we have here. I'm also a little bit scared to cut myself. So we're also going to take off the other end, I think. Water. No, 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 it is gold. Shut the front door, it is gold. I know it's not actual gold, but like the color is the same as in the video. And I honestly did not expect that. Like. So now we're going to cut the one side. So we end up with the one big sheet. I already fucked that up, so that's good. I don't know how to cut in an even line and I have never been able to do that. I also don't know how to draw in an even line. I am squiggles, baby, squiggles. Okay. Now, I think she used more than one tube, to be honest, but we will make do with this one. Okay. I got it. I am very happy with the fact that it's actually that nice golden color on the inside. I think that's very Christmassy. I think we're gonna make this really, really nice. And I honestly love that the other side is just the packaging. Upcycling materials is one of my favorite things in the whole world. And I love that you can see when it's upcycled. I love that you can see the other side, like it's not about hiding something away, it's actually about celebrating these materials. It's a really smart move also in terms of how we 
exist in the world and how we see the resources around us. So let's do this. So it seems like she's using a spoon to flatten it, but I also don't think good old rolling pin did anything wrong. So we'll see what that does. Maybe there's a reason as to why she didn't use a rolling pin. I think if you want all the small wrinkles out of it, we might need to use a spoon. Okay, so that's why. I guess in order to protect the coating of the material, we can do it on the other side, like on the packaging side. I think that'll be better so I don't scratch. Oh yeah, look at that. I love doing DIY things, but I don't have that natural flair for it, so often I end up with something that's a little subpar. Just because we're not good at something, it shouldn't keep us from doing it. I think this is looking pretty good now. So we'll need to figure out what kind of motifs we're making. In the video, she's cutting out a few different types of motifs. We have some faces, we have houses, but she also cut out some birds. And I think those are really, really cool looking. So I think we're gonna try and recreate those. I much rather prefer to have different kinds of ornaments that can be used for different occasions. So if I do the birds, I could use those throughout the year or possibly take them out for different occasions or different parties or celebrations. And I like that way more than, you know, Santa. The very first little rough draft here, here is the bird. It also seems like she's putting on some details, scratching them in or etching them in with a pen. Um, I have a little pair of tweezers, so we're gonna do that as well and bring out some of the details in this bird. And then I have tons more, so I think I'll give it a few goes and see which one I like the best and then we'll put them all. This was a little bit harder than I anticipated. The first try is definitely the worst one. We're getting the hang of it as we go. Practice makes perfect, or at least practice makes somewhat more decent. This is the first bird. Honestly, I love the honesty of this. She is literally just out there trying. Then I decided to go like the very classic tattoo route. This is also not my favorite, but I think if you're squinting your eyes together, you can see what I mean by this and sort of where I'm going. Now this is my favorite. Look at this a chunky, chunky boy. Very excited. This has turkey energy. I don't know if it was meant to be a turkey when I started out, but we ended up making a turkey. I love him. He is my round son. We're gonna take all three. I've already poked some holes for the string. We're gonna put them on the string. So you can do them as small ornaments uh, for a tree, or any kind of decoration. I also think this could be so, so, so nice if you sort of wrap them or use them in your gift wrapping. Maybe I'm actually going to do that, I don't know. I think it's, the options are endless. I just need to put this on and, okay, this is difficult. No. There we go, just like that. Venture into these creative projects. Even if it doesn't turn out kind of the way I want to, simply just sitting there and focusing on a task like this, I think is therapeutic. I always feel better when I've created something like this. I also really need to get into lino cut again because I have a lot of supplies and I haven't done it in ages. So I kind of feel bad about that. So perhaps I will continue this non-procrastination learning path and keep doing the projects that I like. The next project I want to take on is very, very simple. I actually don't really have to do anything. And I remember doing this a few years ago and I think it was so nice. So we're gonna do it again. And it's dehydrating oranges and making them into ornaments. I think it looks so nice. So that's what we're gonna do. I also have a dehydrator so we're gonna use that it's gonna be so easy and simple to do I don't know why I haven't gotten around to doing any of this yet it's the procrastination for me holiday vibes initiated so here she is you can also use an oven for this I've seen people 
also use ovens, so I think that's not an issue. I like using the dehydrator. It uses less energy. I think that's nice. It's a little bit more of a controlled environment rather than an oven because you can't burn something in the dehydrator. So we're just gonna give it a go. I'm cutting this orange the wrong way, like a dingus. No, it is the right way. So I think the most important thing here is to cut thin slices. I don't know why my orange looks like this. It's really nice though. We're just gonna keep going, see what happens. It smells so good. Oy, oy, oy. Keeps looking like this, am I doing something wrong here? This is just what they're gonna look like. Too bad. No, oh, I mean like it's starting to look, it's starting to look more like an orange now. <laughs> just me questioning everything. This is the vibe. I've also been fighting the same cold for weeks now, so I guess orange is probably mm, not gonna hurt me. So I have my oranges and we're gonna put these in the dehydrator on the lowest setting for a day. I don't know, I think we're gonna give it eight hours and then I'll come back to you, see how it turns out. They're honestly looking pretty great. They're not nearly done yet, so I think I'll let the dehydrator run overnight as well. But overall, they're looking kind of great, and I can definitely see the end result taking form. While I was actually really skeptical about like these first slices because it doesn't look like the regular orange pattern, I honestly think I like these the most. that you liked it. Let me know if you've ever tried to make any of these DIYs before, how it turned out, or what kind of DIY you want to see me do next. Keep tagging me and sending me different types of really cool nifty handy stuff. I think I was really craving sort of like a low impact kind of video where I just sat down and talked and did something, created something. So very excited about that. And this has also given me energy to sort of dabble into my lino cut print again. So I think I might do a video on that as well, but we'll perhaps get into the new year before I get to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Also a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!